Okay, let's see. I might have to delete this video if I can't find Buddy, but I'm hoping I can. Uh, I called to him a couple times. Buddy! Hey, Bud, Bud! I think that's Buddy. <laughs> hey, Bud, Bud! Is that you? Yeah? Oh, wow, that's a big one. <laughs> he, he saw me. I didn't even call to him. I actually called to him today, and he came to me. Well, he's not coming to me now, but he came down that tree twice today when I called to him. Oh, hey, Bud, Bud! I got some treats! Buddy! Ah! Ah! Get them ready. There you go. There you go. Ah. Don't drop all the treats. Give them to the bud bee. I just wanted to do this video today. This is like the uh, uh, third time I've seen him today. I just wanted to come outside to say hi to him because I love him. I love you, buddy. I love you, bud bud. This is, um, <clears throat> he's running away. Uh, this is, what day is it? I forgot. I, I had it in my head, yeah, the 8th. So this is the 8th of September. So that means it's day 39. And I think it's probably pretty close to say that this is, uh, he's, he's now lived outside just as long as what he's ever lived outside. Because, again, he was, uh, anywhere between four to six uh four to six weeks old so you extrapolate that that's 42 days uh, i don't think he was quite six weeks old i think he was anywhere between four to six and probably closer to four than when he was six i love you bud bud and so i just wanted uh you know to do this uh oh okay so real quick a real funny sto buddy story um I forgot to take a nut with me and, and put it in my pocket. And so when I got home, I didn't have any nuts. And Buddy, once again, came down that tree and he saw me. And he came down that tree to say hi to me. I tried to get away from him quickly, but he, he just followed me. So I had to run. And I, and he kept, he was following me, but I got to the front door and he stopped following me about halfway through. I felt so bad because he's like, what's up? Why are you running away from me? And I felt so bad that I ran away from him. And um, he was confused. And I, I, I had to go in through my front door. And then I got in through the front door. And then I called to him. And he wasn't coming. I, I felt so bad. I was like, no, buddy, I got stuff for you. I got stuff. I got treats for you. I got stuff. I got food. And But he did come down. He, he came down the big tree right over there. And... Um, and so I was able to give him lots of, he's got lots of trees. He's just stashing and stashing away. Um, regrettably, I think some of his stash areas have been dug up by some of the other squirrels. Uh, which they do that. Uh, because my yard has a lot of holes in it. <laughs> so, which is fine. I'm really, with this winter, um... I know I, he needs to have food and he needs to, you know, have it all stashed up. But I'm really going to try to do the same thing where I get, try to give him food every day. Um, I probably won't be doing this like outside too often in the winter. Mainly because he's not going to also be out too much. They don't come out that much. So I doubt that I could get him to come out. I doubt I'll see him too much during the winter. Um... I will do my best to see him. I love this little guy. I'm worried about the winter. I'm worried about him and the winter. And I'm worried just about mine and his relationship. Um, because I look forward to seeing this little guy. I like seeing him right now. Scampering about. And these videos I know aren't so great. I don't even watch these videos too much. It's just for when I'm older and I'm forgetful. I I want to be able to remember my little guy. Hey, Bud Bud, once you stash it, I got more food for you. <laughs> oh. Oh, Bud Bud. Oh, he's going to stash it in another area. Rats.
Well, maybe not. There was a big squirrel, man. That squirrel not right next to him was big, man. That was about the size of the squirrel that, uh, regrettably, I found on the road the other day. Obviously, it's not the same squirrel. But, you know, it's good that he's in part of a squirrel community. I think he's doing pretty good. I don't know. I don't even know how he got to that tree. He must have just been climbing it and chilling on there. Up here he comes. Hey, buddy! There you go. Yeah, that was a pistachio. <laughs> Generally, he eats them, but I know, I'm know i pretty sure he already had a lot of pistachios. Hey, buddy. You get one more. I love you, bud, bud. I do miss you. mitsu has been sleeping right next to me lately, and it kind of drives me bonkers. And I know some people are like, well, just kick him off or kick him away. But, you know, if that's what Mitsu wants to do, that's what he wants to do. You know? Mitsu's had a hard life, too. I love you, buddy. I miss you. But I, I think you're doing pretty good. I really hate that this is such a high traffic area. I really hate that. I mean, there's pros and cons of being out in the country, too. There's coyotes and, you know, hawks in the country. There are occasionally hawks here, too, but it's not as frequent. Um, I just, I just hate the fact that... I wish, like I said, I lived in a big yard that I could just give him his own yard. But we can't. That's fine. Little guy and me have to make do. He's doing pretty good, though. <laughs> hey, Bud Bud! Okay, last one. That's the last one. No, 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 no,